What is up, Steve here? I hope you are doing well. I got off the phone with one of our uh, sellers for a listing that we have, and uh, she just wanted to get some feedback on you know how the market's going and everything else. And um, I explained to her that things have drastically slowed down since the last time we spoke, which was about a week and a half ago. And uh, we had basically one showing on the property that we're not interested. And she's like, oh, you know, that's fine. I mean, we'll probably in the fall things are going to pick up. And I was like, look, I think in the fall things are going to be actually worse. And I think they're, the values are going to be even lower. And um, anyway, in this video, we're going to talk about if you guys are a seller, what you guys should be considering on doing. If you're a buyer, what you guys should be considering doing. And also if you're a real estate investor, what you guys should be considering on doing as well. And um, I want to discuss a Redfin article before we get into it. I'm going to quickly review it. Um, but basically it says uh, high mortgage rates are keeping home buyers on sidelines leading to declining home sales and a buildup of supply. Uh, the number of homes for sale nationwide in June rose 2%. That's the first annual increase since July 2019. Uh, this is big. I don't know if it's um, in your area as well right now. Again, real estate is micro. So uh, some areas are feeling the effects of a pivoting, transitioning real estate market than others. And uh, here in Southwest Florida, we are starting to feel it. You know what we're really feeling here in Southwest Florida is um, definitely a slowdown. And um, we are seeing price reductions. We're seeing properties come back on market. I did another video of um, the amount of uh, homes that um, basically buyers canceled out in the month of June as well. So we're seeing a lot of back on market uh, price reductions, obviously, and we're seeing new listings, but we're not seeing an aggressive amount of inventory hitting. We're seeing inventory hitting, but it's not a big surge at this point in time. I do anticipate we're gonna start seeing a larger surge probably in fall um, in, in uh, Florida in general. So uh, keep an eye out for that as well. <clears throat> uh, supplies built up as a combination of 5.5 plus mortgage rates, high home prices, and a faltering economy push more buyers to the sidelines, thereby creating a more balanced market. Home sales fell nearly 16% a year ago, the largest decline since May 2020. The shift has also started impacting sales prices. They're still growing by double digits, but the 11% year over year increase is the smallest in nearly two years. Now, I did another video um, basically talking about home values and how they're still rising because I think a lot of people can't really understand that. So be sure you check out that video. I'll link it in the description below for you guys as well. But real estate is lagging. You know, it's not if you're just buying a stock, you're buying a stock, selling a stock. The process of buying and selling real estate takes time. So a lot of people that purchased several months back locked into uh, significantly lower interest rates, which reflected sales 30, 45, 60 days later. So we are going to probably continue seeing um, property values, home close home sales continue to increase probably for the next uh, few months in our local market any, anyway. It might be different in yours, um, but I predict probably around the fall, we're going to actually start to see prices falling um, because it's going to start reflecting sales that took place in September, uh, August, September. The Fed has signaled it may increase interest rates further to combat stubborn high inflation, which could harm consumer confidence and lower stock prices mean fewer prospective home buyers can afford a down payment. I advise sellers to commit if you decide to sell, do it quickly before demand potentially falls further. That's a really good piece of advice, which we're going to talk about further. And price carefully. This is not the time to test waters. You will do more harm than good if you overprice and have to do price reductions or take the home off the market. Now we're going to talk about the uh, market summary real quick for the month of June. According to Redfin, median sales price month over month down 0.4%. Um, it's still up 11.2% year over year. Again, that I believe is going to decline significantly for the year over year coming into the fall. Um, 
Home sold seasonally adjusted down 4.3%, year over year down 15.5%. Pending sales seasonally adjusted down 1.5%, year over year down 12.6%. New listings up 0.1%, year over year down 4.4%. I anticipate probably next month we're going to see the year over year on that actually go into the positive figures. All homes for sale seasonally adjusted up 2.4% uh, month over month, year over year up 1.8%. Median days on market 18 for the month of June. That is up um, month over month uh, of one and year over year three. Uh, so that's interesting to see is, you know, properties are obviously staying on market longer. July, I bet you we're going to see that increase significantly. Month supply of inventory. This is a big thing. A lot of people are talking about, you know, there's just, um, there, there's no supply out there. And I don't believe that that's true at all. Um, it's, it's coming in my estimation. It's a matter of time before it hits market from new construction to foreclosures to have to sellers to uh, speculative uh, investors to uh, people in forbearance that are still maybe even got modifications that are, um, you know, still not financially sturdy. I mean, there, there's uh, also all the investors that had, um, you know, properties leased out to people that were just not paying rent and they finally were able to evict them and get them out. I think that those properties are going to come to market as well. Anyway, month supply is 1.7, uh, month over month 0.2, year over year 0.5. A healthy market, probably around uh, anywhere from five to six months of supply. So we still have a bit of a ways to go um, before we start to see things completely start to turn in the real estate market, but things are happening quickly. And uh, sold above list price, uh, month over month down 3.7%. Now, I spoke about this in some other videos. If you guys are selling or contemplating on selling, I would encourage you guys to get the property on the market as quickly as possible. Price it right, right out the gate. The last thing you want to do is be sitting on the market and then all of a sudden, you know, four of your neighbors list their properties and now you're battling those neighbors. Like, just get ahead of the curve. List your property right now at a good price. And uh, if you're listing your properties, make sure that they're clean, they smell good. Do any necessary curb appeal or any necessary improvements? Is there certain easy upgrades that you guys could do, a, like a weekend project, get a painter to come in, paint the entire inside, entire outside? There's a lot of things that you guys can do if you're selling your property to get it up to par. Even if it's dated, like I've mentioned, as long as it's clean and it's clutter-free and kind of staged, you stand a better chance of making it more sale, uh, saleable. So, um, it's gonna sell quicker and you actually make more money on the property as well if it's in decent condition like that. Now, if you're buying, I really have four tips. The first one, is do not be emotional on any one property if you're buying a property for yourself to live in i know easier said than done but um you know if you leave the emotion at the door then you guys are likely to negotiate a better deal on another property in the future even if it's not that property don't be afraid to walk away and the other three tips make offers make offers make offers right now is the time sellers are getting fearful and right now is the time to make offers on properties and don't be afraid of making lower offers we are doing that right now um, i'm going to start bringing you guys let me know if you guys want me to bring you through some of these like foreclosures and some other properties that are in rough shape if you want me to bring you guys through those um, if you could comment below let me know your thoughts on that but i i, I think it'd be ideal to show you what i'm looking at and the offers we're making um you you know as a buyer and we'll talk about investors as well um it's important that you guys are buying right and making enough offers because you know especially if you're an investor you know you might get one in like 30 offers that you make you got to put the time in if you want the right deal and i think that's important and people don't understand you know they they go out and they make an offer on one property or two properties or five properties like oh i didn't get it and they just kind of give up but you know there's there's new inventory coming to market 
keep an eye on the uh, inventory that's stagnant, that's you know, 30, 45, 60 days on market. Maybe there's more motivation there. Properties are coming back on market. Call those real estate agents, ask why it came back to market. Uh, get a read on the seller's uh, motivation. A lot of these real estate agents will vomit at the mouth and tell you everything that's going on with a seller and they necessarily shouldn't be. And they will tell you why they're selling, where they're going and everything else. And the, the more that you know about a seller's situation as a buyer or investor, the better. Um, because you, you can get an idea of the motivation. If, if there is no motivation, then you might be wasting your time. But if there's motivation and you know they have to sell, go for it. Um, as an investor, be sure you guys are paying attention to the uh, rental income figures. I've been saying this. I'm getting backlash on it too, and I'm fine with that. Uh, but I think that uh, we're going to see rent rates decrease, and we're going to see more inventory come to market. We're going to see as prices go down, other investors are going to come in, buy at really good prices as opposed to investors that bought at a high price that are relying on high rents. And those investors are going to buy at a lower price like myself, and we're going to undercut the uh, rent rates, lowering it for tenants, which is a good thing, and undercut these guys that uh, paid top dollars, including some of these institutional and hedge funds that are out there paying just stupid numbers, driving prices up. Um, so we're gonna undercut those people and um, we're gonna bring rent rates down. So if you guys are investing in rental property, be sure you guys are, um, you know, I, I would be very conservative. You know, if the market rents are two grand, you know, maybe run numbers at sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars a month. Anyway, thanks for being here and take a look at that video that I dropped in the description below and I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.